What's up, people? It's your girl, Adela. Real quick, let me ask this question. How many of you would give up free money? Six million naira. That's about $15,000 as of the time that this happened to build something that can benefit your entire village. Okay, please don't lie in the comment section. <laughs> many of you would take that money. Sharp, sharp. And that is why we have to celebrate this brother. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Uma Abubaka Danfulani from Kwaga Village in Toro, local government area of Bauchi State in Nigeria. This brother is a good representation of Nigeria. And I think he should be celebrated. His village had no pipe bond water, no borehole. In fact, the only source of water in the village was a mucky pond. They would walk to the pond to fetch water very early in the morning for morning chores like doing dishes, cooking. They have to go back to fetch water, to take a shower, even water to drink was all coming from that dirty pond. He said all they could do was pray. Isn't that the case with so many things in Nigeria? All we can do is do what? Is pray. <laughs> Jesus. But some people have collected the money that they are supposed to use to fix our what? Our problem. Some people keep doing what? They keep praying. So the good thing though is that Umar focused on his studies. He went through primary school, secondary school, and then for university, he had to sponsor himself by washing cars in Abuja. In fact, it's been 10 years since he started his own car wash business in Abuja and that was how he sponsored himself. He's now a graduate of environmental biology from the University of Maiduguri. He's also doing his NYC at the moment, but guess what? He saw an ad on Twitter by a digital firm that is based in Texas, US called Shibnobi. They were asking for volunteers in Nigeria, anybody with basic computer knowledge. Again, my people, you know, I talk about you enrolling your children for coding lesson. There's a scholarship right now. I've been asking the coding people, how many people have applied? They said people are not applying. I, I said, I don't, I don't understand. Parents, if you have any child in secondary school, let them apply for this coding scholarship. This is an opportunity by iCode EDU. They are based in Dallas, Texas. Their founder is a Cameroonian man that has found success in Dallas, Texas, and he's trying to give back. They are looking for five. It doesn't matter whether you live in Nigeria or you live in South Africa, you live in Kenya, so long as you are living in Africa. They are looking for five young people, girls and boys, that would be willing to learn how to code. Because people are making big money from coding now. Parents, yo, take advantage of this opportunity. Don't say, I did not tell you. I have tried. Yeah. Now, let us go back to Boda Umar. Thank God that he has basic knowledge in computer. That's the reason he was able to apply. And guess what? He got the job. And then when he started working with them and they got to know him better, he talked about his struggles growing up, you know, going to fetch water, having to sponsor himself through school by washing cars. And the CEO of Shibnobi, that is Cliff Fetna, was very impressed by Uma that he offered to give him six million naira cash just to dash him. You know what he did? He turned down six million naira. He turned it down and asked if the CEO wouldn't mind building a borehole for his village instead. Wow. So that was how the company donated the six million that they were supposed to give him. And the community also raised two million naira, making it eight million naira. And with that, they built a 100 meter borehole with a steel overhead tank of 30,000 liters and a solar panel to operate it so they don't have to depend on NEPA. So today the people of Kwaga village now have clean water to drink, to cook, to do all kinds of household chores right in their community. They no longer have to trek to the dirty pond. Amen somebody. You see how many people will do that? This man is the definition of selflessness. I'm telling you, where so many of our selfish politicians are stealing the money meant for the development of our communities. Don't be surprised if somebody somewhere is sitting on the money that they were supposed to have used to provide water for this same community. A long time ago, let this man inspire you today to learn to put others first. It's okay. Selflessness. Six million naira, just like that. It's like he dashed his community. How many people would do that? Let this man inspire you 
to put others first. I mean, he's not the only one that is happy right now. His entire village is happy. Every day they wake up, they say prayers for Uma. They are very happy. Not only is Uma selfless, by the way, he's hard working. I mean, he has his own business with which he sponsored himself through school. He wasn't waiting for help from anywhere. He wasn't waiting for scholarship. He wasn't waiting for handout. He wasn't waiting for somebody to help him. He helped himself. I say that a lot on this show that, you know, sometimes we have graduates that have been trying to get jobs for so long and you're not getting. And I keep asking, what is it that you can do that can make you money? Don't worry if anybody's looking down on you. I know maybe some people were laughing at him when they saw him washing cars. But guess what? He, that was how he made himself a graduate. What is it that you can do? I've talked about people that are frying akara on this show and making ends meet. My brother, my sister, as we are going into this new year, maybe you need to stop praying for a miracle. Maybe you have to become your own miracle. That was how he made himself a graduate. Now, more importantly, Uma was willing to work for free in exchange for experience. Let's not forget that because he applied to be a volunteer. There are so many graduates today looking for jobs. Instead of waiting for a lucrative job, he took a volunteering opportunity. I know he had his business on the side, but he still applied to be a volunteer and see what came out of it. I'm really hoping that Uma will inspire all of us today to work hard, to volunteer, to be selfless, and to be the answer to our own prayers. Let God use you, my brothers and my sisters. Have you thought about what you can do? besides praying. Is it electricity that you need in your community and you studied electrical engineering? Can you partner with some of your colleagues? Maybe you can generate electricity for your room or your house or who knows, your community. We are so proud of Uma, honestly, and we really, really appreciate him just in time for Christmas. So what are you doing to put a smile on somebody's face this Christmas, this new year? I didn't update you guys after Christmas last year because I had COVID, my baby had COVID, my whole family had COVID. We were all so sick for like a month. It was a lot, we were down. But just like we did the previous year, last year we distributed one ton of chicken, that is 1,000 kilos of fresh chicken as well as 500 bags of well-packaged gari from Tundelani Farms, the best gari farm in Nigeria as far as I'm concerned. We spent a lot of money. I know we didn't do any fundraising on that. We used personal money. And huge shout out to some people that heard about what we were doing and decided to contribute. First of all, Auntie Grace Ofri of Lifeguard International donated one million naira. Woo! Father, father. When she heard about what we were doing, she donated one million. And to Grace, ha -ha, you have done well. I am so grateful once again for Pastor Shola Ajagbe and his team in Ibadan that helped us to distribute these items in rural villages. We told them only remote places in Oyo State, in Oshun State, in Kwara State. More than 1,100 families benefited from this. And what I love the most is how Pastor Shola Ajagbe wrote a detailed report with all the villages. They went, how much food they gave. It took them days. I am so grateful to everybody that volunteered, that helped us. We did a similar thing in Benue State. We bought 10 bags of rice, 10 4 liters of palm oil. So that's like 40 liters of palm oil. We bought salt, maggi, spaghetti, and so on and so forth. You know, things that the internally displaced people need, that can eat. Because these people have nowhere to celebrate Christmas. They're still living at the camp. They have nowhere to go. They can't celebrate Christmas like you and I are doing. So every year we make sure that they are not forgotten during Christmas time. We also bought toys for the children. We hired a father Christmas, you know, just to make sure that they had a sense of celebration as well. Huge shout out to Pastor Joel Rimam Nuras and his wife in Benue State. They're the ones that help us every year to make sure that the internally displaced people are not forgotten. And they will also give us a detailed account 
account of every dime, how much they spend. They send us all the receipts and so on. We really appreciate them and their transparency. I mean, there are so many things that I need to update you guys about because we keep working behind the scenes at Kawa Foundation. Even when we don't raise money, we are actually working. Huge shout out to all our board members. That is Dr. Sesson, Dr. Baba, and Rebecca Hashbaga. Kefi, we had to step down because she works for the UN and the UN said that there would be a conflict of interest. So I'm so grateful for you guys. And don't worry, I'll still update you guys on some of the things we've been working on. Some of them have taken longer than we anticipated. So this Christmas, this New Year season, let Uma inspire you to also put a smile on somebody's face. All right, guys, did you click the thumbs up button? If you enjoyed this show, click the thumbs up so that more people can see it, so that YouTube can recommend it for more people. Merry Christmas in advance and Happy New Year. All right, y'all, it's been real and I'm keeping it up in here don't forget to follow me on facebook twitter and instagram and if you're yet to subscribe to my channel i'm watching you on plasma tv press the subscribe button and the bell button until next time i'm see you later peace out